our, our main focus was to build water wells for a bunch of villages. So we built four water wells, um, which provided clean water for, I think, they were saying upwards of 4,000 villagers. And then we ran a whole bunch of soccer camps, just really trying to break down a whole bunch of barriers that are, uh, are pretty strong in, uh, in those villagers, uh, mixed with food and stuff like that. So uh, just try and go in and really love on these people, and especially the kids, as much as we could. To, uh, to, uh, to really further, further the, the gospel. Pretty much every day we would play soccer with the kids and um, it was so easy, we just roll a ball out, the kids would come from everywhere and we wouldn't have to have too much structure, they just loved playing the game, it was, it was pretty awesome to see. It's, it is life changing to see people that have so little that are so happy and with, with so little. Um, gives us an appreciation for what we have here gives us a, an incentive to go and do some more, but it just it just changes our perspective on uh, a lot of values that we, we have here. I thought that I would go and make a huge impact on these people's lives, and I ended up being impacted myself more than I thought. They just have so much joy, they have, they have so little, but they're so happy with it, and it, it was pretty amazing. The smiles everywhere, every person you drove by and waved, they'd always wave back. It's something I'll always remember for sure. But definitely the joy of the people is something that I've heard of, but it's totally different experience just seeing how happy the people are with very little and just seeing how much they just love the game of soccer as well and are really passionate about uh, those who are Christians there, passionate about Jesus Christ, which is nice to see. When we uh, visited this, this village and the well had been there for about three months or so, uh, and I remember them telling us and giving testimony to just the amount of disease and sickness that had left the village as soon as they received clean water and how so many of their everyday problems were just disappearing because uh, you know one well was drilled in a nearby village so it was really just unbelievable to see what clean water does in parts like that. The day that we went out uh, way out in the village where a lot of the little children had not seen white people before and helped them construct uh, the structure for their church. I think that was a big day uh, because we were so far out, so remote. But every day was so, so different. Every day was so meaningful. We either did camps or we helped with the clean water project that we know is going to change the lives of, of you know, a few thousand people. Uh, but that just, we know it just puts a small little dent in, in the need that's out there. But uh, we feel good that we, uh, we tried to do something different. You know, I think in, in that you know perspective, uh, that was mission accomplished. Uh, for me, it was one day I was in a I was in the van and I made a point of trying to wave to as many people as I could, and I I waved at a man who had his hands completely full with some of the things. He took a point of actually dropping all the things he had just to wave back, and that really stuck with me. It just how friendly they were, how hospitable they were to us, foreigners in their country. After every time we uh, played soccer with them, we one of us would share a testimony, and I was fortunate enough uh, to be able to, and they asked afterwards if anyone would like to come to Christ, and about 30 or so people put their hands up, which was uh, interesting for me to see God maybe using me and other guys in our team to spread, uh, to spread his word to a different uh, part of the world, which was amazing for me. One of the things that hit me is that people like to be touched. They like to have a handshake, and they like to, you know, that it was it was really interesting to see the the receptions uh, that we were getting in all the different villages. Um, but lots of smiles. Um, I think they were very pleased that we would travel such a distance to come and, and help. Experiencing something like that together is uh, just can't you can't really explain it. Um, we've all worked side by side together, we've all struggled together, and we've all, we all have memories that we share together, and that's just something you can't really put a price tag on. I think it'll be huge tree season, and especially after a difficult year we had this year, uh, it's been really good to bond. A lot of, a few new guys that came along really got to know them better, and it really just became uh, more of a tight-knit unit on this trip. We need more players! The amount of conversation that happened, the amount of actually getting to know what guys believe, what's going on in their, you know, in their lives, opening up to each other like that, it was, it was crazy and, and I, I'm sure we could all say easily that when we play now, uh, 
we're definitely playing for the guy right beside us, to the right to the left. It's just unbelievable. And I feel like that that will uh, translate to the field. I know that it'll have long-lasting uh, effect for the team, for the program, for the guys that, are, that went on the trip. I think there'll be a really, really strong bond in a lot of different ways, both on the field and off the field.